Hi all, this is Andrea M. D'Souza and today I'm going to make a Goan Bath Trifle Pudding. That is a trifle pudding using Goan Bath. Bath which is a traditional Goan cake made out of coconut. Here's something that I had made a couple of days ago. Now we're going to start by making the jelly. Now for the jelly, I'm going to start by mixing half a litre of water with one packet of ready-made jelly powder. I've used the raspberry flavour. I've noticed that compared to all other flavours, I like raspberry the best. And now we're going to mix it. And then we're going to heat it once again. I've kept it on a medium flame here. You need to stir it constantly as it comes to a boil. Don't allow any lumps to be formed. And ensure that all these pieces of gelatin and sugar that are present get diluted. There you go, it's coming to a boil. We're now going to switch off the flame and I'm going to pour this while it is hot into bowls. Bowls which I've already moistened earlier. Before you pour it into the bowl, remove this froth that you can see. Because it doesn't look too good if it is not removed. I'm going to pour it into my bowls now. Note that I've already moistened the bowls earlier. I'm going to set it aside and let it cool by itself. Once it is cold, I'm going to refrigerate it until it sets completely. There you go, doesn't it look good? Now after the jelly, I'm going to start with my custard. I've taken around 1 litre of milk. And to that I'm going to add around 8 to 10 tablespoons of sugar and I'm going to mix it well and allow the sugar to melt. Once the sugar has melted, I'm going to add to it around 3 heaped tablespoons of custard powder which I've mixed with around quarter cup of milk. I'm going to let it stir continuously so that no lumps are formed. I'm going to bring it to a boil and let it cook for around say 2 or 3 minutes after it comes to a boil. It's going to come like a nice thick mixture. See, you can already see it getting thick. I've used ready-made custard powder this time. I've used vanilla flavor. See, it's coming to a boil, it's getting thick. So let it boil completely and then on a low flame for around 2 or 3 minutes, let it thicken. There you see our custard is ready. Make sure you keep stirring it from the bottom so that it doesn't stick. I'm now going to start with my layers. I'm going to start by crushing pieces of the Goan bath which I had made earlier. That's the Goan cake. You will find it in one of my previous recipes that I have posted here on YouTube. Make sure your pieces are coarse so that you get some bite into your pudding. I will then pour in some leftover rum which I had, which I had soaked my fruits during Christmas. I will now proceed to pour the custard onto each bowl. Ensure that the custard is neither too thick nor too thin. You can cover the cake while pouring on the custard. I'm now going to top it with some cashew nuts some tutti frutti and some currants. I'm going to, now going to add some jelly which I had made and set earlier. You can put as much as jelly as you would like. After the jelly, I'm going to add a little more cake and yet another layer of custard. After having done all that, I'm going to put another few tutti frutti and raisins and I'm um, sorry and black currants and cashew nuts just for garnishing. There we are and now I'm going to keep it in the refrigerator to set for maybe another two or three hours and then we will remove it out in a while. If you like my recipes don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Facebook at Andrea M. D'Souza's Kitchen. Thank you and enjoy your pudding.